every time I'm like, oh, they're finally quiet, they're just like not quiet. So I'm sorry if the background noise is just like atrocious. There's fucking construction going on next door. There's like babies crying outside and roosters just like going wild, which I don't know why they're going wild. It's like noon. I thought they only crowed or cooed or whatever the fuck they do in the morning, but here we are. It's loud and I have a little story to tell you. So remember in my last vlog, I was like, Ooh, I love my hotel in Naboo so much. It's so cute and so nice. Well, <clears throat> let's just say I've changed my opinion of that just a wee bit, like just a little bit. Um, there was a incident last night, let's call it, where, fuck. Anyways. There was an incident last night where I go to bed at my usual like 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. because I'm a grandma like that and I wake up at about 1 a.m. because I gotta pee. I go into the bathroom and... Motherfucker. Turns out, had a new roommate, was not interested in being roomies with this cockroach. This cockroach was massive, and something about me, so last year I traveled for three months in Costa Rica. Throughout those three months, like, I saw some shit. Like, if you want to go somewhere that's filled with bugs and is really gonna test you, go to Costa Rica. Some of the places we stayed in in the jungle, I'd wake up in the night, flick on the light, and the room would just like, it would like crawl. Not three cockroaches, not five, 30 cockroaches in our room, on our bed, on my toothbrush, like on the head of my toothbrush. So I, um, I have a deep hatred <laughs> for cockroaches, also monkeys. Maybe I just hate nature, I don't know. <laughs> but after I saw that little guy, I was like, I can't sleep, that's it. That's it for tonight. And I am one tired lady now. I have like all my stuff packed behind me. I'm actually checking out right now and heading back to Chengdu, which I'm really excited about. That was sort of the first place I landed in Bali and I really, really like it there. I'm gonna be there for a couple of weeks, so it's gonna be really nice <laughs> to like have a home base. I think I'm actually gonna tie my hair back before we go because I'm sensing I'm gonna be sweaty as fuck in like five minutes. Okay. Oh yeah, dress cam. And the most important thing we can't forget, Frederick Douglass. Yes, I am almost 28 years old and I brought my teddy bear to Bali because adulting. Don't know what to tell you, he's comforting and I love him, so. So something gross, I have yet to do laundry on this trip and this bag, it's just all laundry that I haven't done. I don't know, I just don't want to. I don't want to do my laundry. And we're in business, <laughs> muling it. <laughs> the glamorous side of traveling, <laughs> carrying all your shit around. Okay, hopefully I have everything. Wow. Checking out, yeah. So I'm good? Thank you so much. Okay. I think I have a grab. Oh my god. Fuck. Sorry, our drivers are busy. Apparently, all the drivers are busy in a I guess everyone's checking out or something. But yeah, I'm gonna see if the hotel can get me a ride. <gasps> all right, well. That is not how I was hoping to get back to Chengdu because I have this problem with my debit card. I can't take out any more cash. So I have to spend my last 300,000 on a ride home from the hotel. And if I was to use the app, then I can pay on my visa. But with the hotel, I have to pay in cash. So not ideal, but I have 30 minutes to kill now and back with the old faithful. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just gonna hang out and drink my little beer and wait for my ride. Oh, and more excitingly, I have another little treat. I mean, it's not really a treat. Did you guys ever get these in your lunch when you were a little kid? The Baby Bell cheese? These are so much fun. And you get to play with the wax after. 
I'm like actually a child. I'm like teddy bear and baby bell cheese. <laughs> like mom picked me up from school. 27 going on 12. <laughs> Actually, 12 year olds these days, I feel like, are not like I was when I was 12. When I was 12, I was just. Baby. 12.45. The red should be getting here soon. Also, look at my phone. How cute are me and Bay? Aw, look at us. How are you? I'm good. Oop. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We're on our way to Chenggu. It's about an hour drive from Ubud, so not too bad. I'm hoping, I haven't seen this place yet, but I hope that our next Airbnb is really nice. We'll see. We'll see how it really is. show you around okay so outside we have our pool little living room area kitchen all my groceries bedroom there's like a little curtainy situation so it's like a separate room and then we have our bathroom oh hi there's me shower you know the usual shit so let's get unpacked and just like settled a little bit here you know settle in <laughs> Which is really small. <laughs> I like couldn't shut it, but you know, that's what happens when you buy too much food. I spent a million uh, rupiah, I think that's how you say the local currency, on food. So I'm stocked for a few days, and there's a reason I'm stocked for a few days, and you'll find out what that is in the next vlog. It's not just because I'm hungry. I mean, kind of, but like there's like an actual reason. <laughs> Okay, let's get unpacked. 12 seconds later. To be totally honest, I don't actually feel like unpacking right now, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and procrastinate that because what else is new in my life? So let's go, let's go jump in the pool. I'm kind of, I feel like putting away the food was like step one and that was close enough. I just don't wanna do anything else. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna rain. Oh, literally there's thunder right now. I feel like it's gonna rain any minute. So I'm gonna hang out in this pool and enjoy my new Airbnb, but I'm so excited to have a ton of Chengu adventures with you. Really, really stoked to spend more time here. We're gonna get to know this place really well, have a shit ton of fun, and that's kind of it for today. A little bit of a lame vlog today, but you know, some days you're exploring waterfalls and some days you're just moving from one Airbnb to the other. So thank you for being there for both with me. It really means a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Hermione Granger vibes today. <laughs>